Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my Two Minutes Parsha. In this week's Sidra of Vayigash, the brothers discover that the cruel Egyptian viceroy Tzafanat Panach actually turns out to be their loving brother Yosef. And the Midrash says regarding the story, the brothers were not able to answer Joseph. When he says to them, I am your brother, Yosef is my father still alive. They weren't able to answer him. They were so bewildered, the Torah says. The Midrash comments on that. Oy lanu miyoma din, oy lanu miyoma hatochacha. Woe to us from the day of judgment. Woe to us from the day of rebuke. Just as the brothers were not able to respond to Joseph, so too we may feel unable to respond on the day of judgment and rebuke. What exactly is the connection? How does this tie in? The Sfat Emet Rabbi Yehuda Leib Altar says that what the brothers failed to realize is that within this seemingly foreign distant person, was somebody truly holy. Joseph's holiness was a hidden holiness. To the entire world, he appeared like a regular Egyptian. But within his heart, he was Yosef HaTzadik. He was the one who was righteous, who never sinned against Hashem, who never betrayed his Jewish mission. And so too, says the Sfat Emet, in the future we will realize how much holiness there is in virtually every aspect of the world. That in things that we think are mundane and that we take for granted, that they have the potential for such greatness and so, such holiness. That has special significance for us at Morasha this week as we move from our beloved shul into the Weizmann Hall here at uh, Forty Kloof Road over the next few weeks. And we take a hall which is seemingly used, you know, for a school, and there certainly are good things about that. But we find within it the potential to be a shul as well, and to uplift the community in prayer and Torah study. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.